These are the most concerning things you're ever going to hear. Thomas Hargrove, a homicide archivist, estimates that there are over 2,000 serial killers at large right now. According to his records, there's about 27,000 murders that aren't even in FBI files. It's widely believed that your hearing is the last sense that you lose when you die. Studies show that patients that are comatose might still be able to hear. In the Middle Ages, people actually used to eat mummies for medicinal purposes, and this is actually why we don't have a lot of mummies left today. In the United States, about 1 in 50 people have a brain aneurysm that just hasn't ruptured. That's about 6.5 million people, and a brain aneurysm in the US ruptures about every 18 minutes. You know your refrigerator? It's actually magnetic because kids used to die inside of them. Before about 1956, refrigerators had latches and could only be opened from the outside, resulting in kids getting stuck inside. There was a 28-year-old man named Artyom Sidorkin who inhaled a seed of a fir tree, which subsequently sprouted and grew in his lungs. The doctors, when investigating, thought he actually had cancer, but made the discovery that he just had a forest growing in his lungs. Syphilis, if left untreated, changes people to look like zombies. During the Renaissance period, many untreated people with syphilis used to wander through the streets, looking a little bit like a zombie apocalypse. There are about 40 supervolcanoes around the world that could take about a billion lives each, and we're about 24,000 years overdue for an eruption, according to scientists. One of the supervolcanoes is in a very famous place, Yellowstone National Park. Its magma chamber could fit the entire city of Tokyo inside of it. A book written about 14 years before the sinking of the Titanic may have actually predicted the sinking of the ship. The book, titled The Wreck of the Titan, was about an unsinkable ship that was hit by an iceberg. The Titan also coincidentally had a shortage of lifeboats, just like the Titanic. Microplastics have gotten so bad that the average person consumes the equivalent of a Lego bricks worth of microplastic every single month. Scientists have researched and predicted that a body submerged in deep water actually becomes a skeleton in only about four days. This is largely due to a little critter called amphipods, which have been seen devouring carcasses through their studies. Blue whales have veins large enough that humans could swim through them. Flies are a typical nuisance, but aside from being a little bit gross, they don't really get under your skin. That is, except for bot flies, which are a type of insect whose larvae burrow under your skin, and when they do that, you can actually see them moving around underneath the flesh. In the 17th century, people were buried alive so often that they actually started building safety coffins. These were coffins that had bells with a string attached to them, so if you woke up in a coffin and were buried alive, you could just pull the string and it would ring a bell on the surface and people would know, oh, I need to dig this person up. Every single day, you swallow about one to two cups of mucus. That is roughly equivalent to 22 US gallons each year. Everyone's favorite party gas, helium, which makes up about 24% of our entire universe, is actually non-renewable. We have no way of creating it, and we're running out of it, because every time we use it and lose it, it keeps escaping out of our atmosphere. Right now, the number of dead people in the world outnumber the living 15 to 1. That's actually down from the year 1968, where the dead outnumbered the living roughly 29 to 1. There's a cat named Oscar who seems to have the ability to predict people's deaths. The cat actually works in hospice care and seems to have the ability to sense who will soon pass and provide them comfort. So if you're visited by Oscar in hospice care, it might be your time. The world's deadliest tsunami was actually in the Indian Ocean in 2004. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, who studied the tsunami after the fact, the energy released was equivalent to 23,000 atomic bombs like the ones dropped on Hiroshima. In the United States, there are actually more vacant homes than there are homeless people. Everyone romanticizes the city of Paris, but underneath 
the historic city, there's roughly 60 million people buried from the bubonic plague. Over 50% of commercial pilots have admitted to falling asleep while flying a plane. The number of deaths in the US that are attributed to medical errors are as high as 100,000 people per year. That's essentially equivalent to a 737 airplane crashing and killing everyone every day. During World War II, Japan actually bombed China with fleas infected with the bubonic plague. You know your birthday? You're actually more likely to die on that day than any other day with a 6.7% chance that you will die on your birthday. Did you know that if you murder someone, it's actually pretty likely that you're going to get away with it? That's right, about 40% of US murders go unsolved. There's something known as arithmetic death syndrome, and that's when someone who appears to be in healthy condition just dies for no reason. Every picture you pose for could actually be the one that's used for your obituary. You know the chainsaw, the very useful thing we use to cut down trees? Well, it was actually invented by two Scottish surgeons, originally to assist in childbirth. There's a jellyfish known as the Turritorpus dorni, and it's officially known as an immortal creature because it's never been observed to die. There's a different version of you that exists in the minds of everyone that knows you. Look up at the sky right now. You see the sun? It may have actually exploded, and we wouldn't actually know for about eight minutes because that's how long it takes light to reach the Earth. Up until the 1980s, babies used to be operated on without anesthesia because doctors believed they couldn't feel pain until they were about 15 months old. In ancient Rome, they used the crushed brains of mice for toothpaste. There's a frog known as the golden poison dart frog that's the size of a paperclip. Very cute, and if you touch it, you will die. In fact, just one frog has enough poison to kill 10 to 15 people. You could have an unruptured brain aneurysm right now and not be aware of it, and it could rupture at any time. If you have a dog, you probably think it's pretty cute when they're playing with their squeaky toy, but this is actually because dogs like the sound of squeaking because it sounds like those emitted by small prey when they're about to die. If you've ever ridden the subway, about 15% of the air that you breathe while in there is actually human skin. According to the FDA, about 10 insects and 35 fruit fly eggs are allowed per 8 ounces of raisins. They also allow about 1 pound of peanut butter to contain 150 bug fragments or 5 rodent hairs. In about 7 hours, an elephant produces enough poop to outweigh most adult humans. You know the lottery? The chance of you dying on the way to get your lottery tickets is actually significantly greater than you winning the lottery, so maybe think twice. There are more vacant houses in the United States than there are homeless people. Are you under the age of 21? Well, good news, your happiness is probably going to peak at about 21. After that, it doesn't peak again until you retire. Bad news if you've already passed 21. In the Stone Age, people would kill a bear and then rip open its stomach to eat the meal the bear ate before it was killed. Did you know that some tumors can actually grow teeth eyes, and hair. That's pretty neat. And your eyelashes. Those actually have thousands of tiny mites living on them that only live in that region. And finally, in the 1800s, dentures were made out of real teeth of dead people. Cool. <laughs>